This is Yellowstone National Park, home to some of the most beautiful wildlife and scenery in the world. But if you didn't know, it's also home to the largest supervolcano on Earth. It's only a matter of time before it erupts. Yellowstone is one of the most active geothermal regions on Earth, with over 10,000 hydrothermal features, including geysers. Hot springs and mud pots scattered throughout its vast area. These, these features are powered by the immense heat from the Yellowstone caldera, also known as the Yellowstone supervolcano. But what makes this volcano so dangerous? The answer lies in its past. Oh. Millions of years ago, the Rocky Mountains were uplifted, and the Yellowstone hotspot, which is an unusually hot area beneath the Earth's surface, found itself directly under this mountain range. This caused the rock to melt, creating magma chambers filled with molten rock. As the North American plate continued moving to the northwest, the hot spot remained stationary, leading to the creation of three distinct calderas, or collapsed volcanic craters, the oldest of which is the Yellowstone caldera. Each caldera is roughly circular and spans tens of miles across. Over the past two million years, these calderas have formed through a series of eruptions and collapses. Yellowstone has had three major eruptions in recorded history, each more catastrophic than the last. The first occurred 2.1 million years ago, releasing 2,800 cubic kilometers of ash and pumice, which is about 670 billion barrels of oil. The second followed 1.3 million years ago, releasing even more debris and material. Then the most recent and largest eruption happened 640,000 years ago. It released a staggering 2,400 cubic kilometers of ash and pumice and was one of the largest eruptions in history. But it's not just the size of these eruptions that's scary. The explosivity of each event is also a major concern. All three of Yellowstone's major eruptions were ranked as 8 out of 8 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, or VEI. To put that into perspective, the VE describes the relative violence of a volcanic eruption. A level 8 eruption is considered to be the most violent and devastating type of eruption possible. For comparison, Mount St. Helens, which erupted in 1980, had a VE rating of 5. So how big would the next eruption be? According to geologist Robert Ristow, who recently spoke at a conference. The next eruption at Yellowstone could be the biggest one yet. He stated that it will probably be bigger than all of them. Meaning that the next eruption could reach a ve of eight. If this were to happen, it would be truly catastrophic. So when is this going to happen? Well, according to a new study published in the journal Quaternary Science Reviews, it could happen sooner rather than later. Researchers used computer models to simulate the behavior of the Yellowstone supervolcano and estimate when it might erupt again. Their findings suggest that the next super eruption at Yellowstone could occur within the next 10,000 years. This is much sooner than previously thought. Past estimates suggested that the likelihood of an eruption in the next 1 million years was less than 10%. However, this new research suggests that there is a 30-50% to 50 chance of a super eruption in the next 10,000 years. But don't worry too much, because this still gives us plenty of time to prepare. Right now, scientists are closely monitoring the volcano to look for any signs of an eruption. They are keeping track of things such as the frequency and strength of earthquakes in the area, as well as any changes in the shape or elevation of the volcano. Additionally, they are measuring the temperature of various points around the volcano to see if there are any increases that may indicate magma moving closer to the surface. All of this data is collected and analyzed in order to create a comprehensive picture of the volcano's activity and to identify any potential warning signs that an eruption may be imminent. By staying vigilant and continuing to monitor the volcano, scientists hope to give people as much advance notice as possible should an eruption occur. This would allow for the evacuation of nearby areas and the implementation of emergency plans that could help minimize the impact of the eruption. But let's imagine for a moment that scientists failed to predict the eruption. What would happen if Yellowstone erupted tomorrow? What would happen to humans? And would we go extinct? The immediate impact of a super eruption at Yellowstone would be devastating. Ash and debris would shoot high into the atmosphere, blocking out the sun and plunging the world into darkness. Pyroclastic flows and earthquakes would cause widespread destruction, killing everything in their path. The air would become thick with suffocating ash, making it hard to breathe. The ground would tremble with the force of thousands of earthquakes. Poisonous gases would blanket the landscape, poisoning the air and water. 
In short, anyone who is unfortunate enough to be near the volcano when it erupts would be met with certain death. But what about the rest of us? Would we survive the eruption if we're far away? Maybe scientists predict that a super eruption at Yellowstone would throw 2,400 cubic kilometers of ash and debris into the atmosphere. This would create a thick layer of ash over a wide area, burying towns and cities in its path. In addition, the eruption would produce pyroclastic flows and lowers, which are volcanic mud flows that would race down the slopes of the volcano at high speeds, destroying everything in their path. The eruption would also trigger earthquakes that would shake the entire region. But perhaps the most far-reaching impact of the eruption would be the climatic consequences. The massive amount of ash and sulfur dioxide released into the atmosphere would reflect sunlight back into space, causing global temperatures to plummet. The eruption would also inject water vapor into the stratosphere, leading to the formation of thin clouds that would block sunlight and lead to prolonged periods of darkness. These climatic changes would have a devastating impact on agriculture and food production, leading to widespread famine. Global crop yields would decline by 50% or more, leading to mass starvation. But this is where things get really interesting. New research suggests that the impact of a super eruption at Yellowstone may not be as bad as previously thought. A recent study published in the journal PNAS suggests that the climatic effects of a super eruption at Yellowstone may not be as severe as previously thought. The researchers used a climate model to simulate the effects of a super eruption at Yellowstone and found that while temperatures would definitely drop, the impact on agriculture may not be as catastrophic as previously thought. According to their findings, while global temperatures would drop by 1 to 2 degrees Celsius in the first year after the eruption, the impact on agriculture would vary depending on location. Some regions would see little change in temperature, while others would experience a drop of up to 5 degrees Celsius. However, the study also found that the climatic effects of the eruption would only last for a few years before temperatures return to normal. This suggests that while there would definitely be some short-term disruption to agriculture, it is unlikely that there would be a long-lasting global famine as a result of the eruption. But even if we somehow managed to survive the eruption, there's no guarantee that we'd be able to rebuild society as we know it. The aftermath of the eruption would likely be so devastating that it would set humanity back centuries. The ash and debris would cover vast areas of land, making it difficult or impossible to grow crops. The global supply chain would be disrupted, leading to shortages of food, water, and other essential supplies. And the economic impact of the eruption would be devastating. The cost of cleaning up the mess and rebuilding infrastructure would be enormous. Many countries would be unable to afford the necessary resources to recover. In short, a super eruption at Yellowstone would be a global catastrophe. Even if we managed to survive the initial blast and the subsequent climatic changes, we would likely lose everything else that makes our modern world possible. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to stay tuned for more content. And thank you for watching.